So limits of algebraic and tra transcendental functions, so the limit of polynomial rational square root and the exponential logarithmic and trigonometric functions. So we just use this theorem that uh, the limit of the function as x approaches c is just actually f of c, meaning to say we will, we will just solve for f of c because uh, these functions are continuous at x equals c provided that c is in the domain of these functions. For example, for polynomial function, the limit of x cubed minus 3x as x approaches 1. So this is a polynomial function and uh, what you're going to do is just solve for f of 1. So this is going to be 1 cubed minus 3 times 1. So that is 1 minus 3. That's negative 2. Another example. Limit of uh, 2x over x minus 2 as x approaches uh, 4. So since this is a rational function, you just solve for f of 4. So this is 2 times 4 over 4 minus 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. So 8 over 2 is 4. How about number 3? Limit of the square root of x minus 6 as x approaches 10. So we will just have square root of 10 minus 6. That's square root of 4, which is 2. How about if we have a limit of, let's write number 4, limit of 2x over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. If you will substitute, you will have 2 times 2 over 2 minus 2, which is 4 over 0. And this is undefined because actually 2 is not in the domain of this rational function. So if that's the case, then you just say that the limit of this function as x approaches 2 does not exist. How about limit of square root of x minus 6 as x approaches 4? So this, if you will substitute, that's going to be 4 minus 6, which is square root of negative 2, which is an imaginary number. But actually, 4 is not in the domain of this. That's why if you get like this, like this one, undefined here, imaginary, then you will just say that this function or this the limit of this function as x approaches 4 does not exist but if you can get a real number then that's okay number 5 Okay, let's have another example. Uh, let's have exponential limit of uh, e raised to x as x approaches 1. So same, it's just e raised to 1 or simply e. Number 7, limit of e raised to 2x minus 3 as x approaches 1. So that's e raised to 2 times 1 minus 3. So e raised to 2 minus 3. That's e raised to negative 1 or that is 1 over e. Limit of uh, ln of x as x approaches 1. So this is just ln 1. And ln1 is uh, 0. What if we have a limit 
of uh, ln of x cubed as x approaches uh, 2. So this is just um, ln of 2 cubed or that is ln of 8. Or this can also be 3 ln 2 by applying properties of logarithms but if this this one that's all right and same with trigonometric functions let's say limit of sine x as x approaches pi over 2 so this is just sine of pi over 2 and the sine of pi over 2 is 1 so it's just like that so this is this theorem is very important because we just substitute uh, the values of c to this x here since the limit of the function as x approaches c is just f of c so what we're actually solving here is just f of c